welcome to my youtube channel mindful information to today we, today we will discuss about sterilization type of sterilization method of sterilization in first part so my name is lovely let's begin sterilization sterilization is the process in which we remove or kill all the lives that is microorganism such as fungi bacteria virus spores by any method this is known as sterilization got it sterilize the, there are some basic terms which are used in sterilization which is sterility sterility the condition of freedom from living organism is known as sterility if we kill all the organism then is is the sterility sterilized product now talk about second which is d value decimal reduction time time or dose required for microorganism population to decline by one decimal point d value now talk about z value degree of temperature required for one log reduction in d value it if it reduce one log value then this is the d value now talk f value time in minutes at a specific time pressure usually 250 fahrenheit or 121 degree celsius needed to kill a population of cell or spores this is known as f value holding time time required for killing the microorganism this is known as holding time now talk about thermal death time shortest time needed to kill all the organism in microbial suspension this is known as thermal death time now method of sterilization which is sterilization method first is sterilization by heat there are many methods of sterilization sterilization by heat sterilization by radiation sterilization by filtration sterilization by chemical processes now just we talk only to um, in first lecture which is sterilization by heat there are some types of sterilization by heat which first is dry heat sterilization in this we only used for oil petroleum jellies talcum powders glass and metallic apparatus we just sterilize only these product by dry heat sterilization microorganism more resistant to dry heat than moist heat now talk is flaming used for flaming flaming is a dry heat sterilization process used for forceps needle scalpels metal spatulas etc bunsen flames to the surface for 5 second now talk about hot air oven which is we use 180 degree minutes at 180 degree celsius or 45 minutes at 2 degree 220 260 degree celsius micro mechanism of action destruction by means of heat and it is an oxidation process microorganism for glassware and oily solutions 160 degree celsius for 1 hour now talk about second moist heat sterilization moist heat sterilization mechanism of action coagulation of protein in the cell moist heat it coagulates the protein in the cell and then the growth of cell stop the microorganism kill use for porous material such as cotton wool stoppers paper cloth wrappers bundles of surgical liners etc temperature this is very important for gpat exam so you can have a click 
of this now talk about temperature 115 to 116 degrees celsius pressure 10 and holding time is 30 minutes 120 1 to 123 pressure is 15 and temperature is 15 minutes 126 to 129 pressure is 20 and holding time is 10 minutes one now 134 to 138 pressure is 32 and holding time is 3 so this is the temperature and talk about moist heat sterilization now we go to our next process which is now talk about third which is tendalization also known as fractional sterilization tendalization tendalization is the starting from 19th century usually it's used for food industry it is derived by the John Tyndall. In this, uh, 80 degrees Celsius for one hours or 100 degrees Celsius or less than time for three successive days. We sterilize the product for three days, and we put 80 degrees Celsius at one hour for one hours. It's uh, used to kill dormant and resistant to spore. Also, it can, does not kill spores not a special apparatus required it does not require any apparatus now heating with and bacteria sites bacteria sites are more effective at high temperature than low temperature your point uh, officially in boiling point and consist of heating at 90 degree to 110 degree for 30 minutes of injections for injection Chlorocerol 0.2 weight by volume, phenyl mercuric acetic 0.002% weight by volume, benzyl conium chloride 0.1 and thermocell 0.1% weight by volume. Now, talk about pasteurization. Pasteurization is a method for of eliminating pathogenic microorganisms mainly for from food and some other beverages. Posturization does not kill spores. It is derived by posture and it also reduces the variable counts by 97 to 99% but does not kill spores as you know. Application applied to milk in dairies, dairy industry, milk industry. Now which six which is dry heat above 150 degrees celsius bacterial spores passing through an extreme heating furnace can be sterilized in 0.4 to 0.6 degrees celsius at 225 degrees celsius this is only need 0.4 to 0.6 second to sterilize any product now not more use of ultraviolet radiation inactivate virus and bacteria in vaccine also used for radiations of incoming and or internal airs of sterilized sterile filling area of antibiotics and prevent cross frictions of hospital and school sectors this is used Now go to third, which is sterilization by radiation, also known as cold sterilization. It has second name, which is cold sterilization. Mechan now mechanism of action is interference in the metabolism of the cell. The sterilization by radiation have first point, which is ultraviolet light by radiation 2537 anstron possesses greater activity in destroying microorganism reduction of air brown contamination and 
reduction of airborne contaminations and maintenance of aseptic area room mechanism of action of ultraviolet light sterilization radi radiation uv light absorbed by nucleic acid of the cell wall where it does the greater damage uses to destroy the virus of homologous serum jaundice in the bone and now second is ionizing radiation produced directly or indirectly Pro directly from charged particle indirectly from gamma rays have highest penetrating powers mechanism of action destroy microbes by stopping reduction as a result of lethal mutation uses prevention of food injection pro products of um, antibiotics like an menzel penicillin streptomycin sulfates unit for measurement of radiation dose is roit roitjens are fundamental unit radiation dose it is defined as the term of the number of uh, ionization produced per unit volume of the air now second unit is radius radar another unit which is represent an energy absorption of 10 ags per gram of material now got it i hope you understand of sterilization remaining two we will discuss in the next part for today thank you for watching If you like my video please don't forget to like and subscribe Jai Hind Jai Bharat